be. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showeth mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, as he saying unto us, Go and do likewise. Go and show mercy <coughs> to those in need. Be helpful. Be <coughs> helpful. Don't pass them by. Mm -hmm. You know, the old song that says, please don't pass me by. Mm -hmm. And it's not used for this, this context, but we can use it here. It's, please don't pass me by. All right? And, and that we should, we should have the context. Please don't pass anyone by. Amen. Please don't pass anyone by. Amen. Amen. Uh, David, you were telling me yesterday about the time you stopped to help somebody in need, except he's a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't want your help. <laughs> he was bleeding the car accident. The guy's bleeding. We was driving the car illegally, so he didn't really want help. He was trying to get away. So <laughs> away from the train. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's the car help. You got to help those in need. You got to help those in need. Well, God causes a righteousness that he, he actually stopped, because he, he didn't know that at first. Amen. He saw a man in need, he stopped to help. Amen. Not knowing it was a criminal. <laughs> Go to uh, Romans 15. We're still talking about being helpful. <clears throat> Scriptures, Brother Mark has shared with us oh, wow, a few months back. <coughs> Romans 15, uh, verse 1 to 3. <coughs> we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let me read it again. <coughs> we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. So as we look at this second aspect of being merciful, helpfulness, the focus is to help others and not to focus on helping ourselves. The very definition of pride is given right there in verse 1, which is to please ourselves. That's pride. You, you could simply say, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmity of the weak and not be proud. Amen. Right? We focus on helping others. So to be merciful, we must not live in someone's past. We must forgive them. Like God forgives our past, we must also forgive their past. To be merciful, we must be helpful. We must bear the burdens of others and not focus on pleasing ourselves. And let's go to Galatians 6, for kind of the last verse on, on this segment. <coughs> look at verse 2. It speaks to the same thing. It says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Well, we know from other scriptures to fulfill the law of Christ is love. So when we bear others' burdens, we're operating in love. The second commandment, love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor in replacement of yourself. Mm -hmm. Bear each other's burdens. If I'm merciful, I forgive. I forget the past. I forget people's past transgressions. I forget past wounds and past hurts and past anger and past everything. Mm -hmm and I help those that are in need. Mm -hmm. The third aspect is benevolence. And we can look at countless scriptures on benevolence, but I think, uh, let's, let's look through Proverbs 22, then we'll come forward back into the New Testament. Proverbs 22. <clears throat> Verse 9 of Proverbs 22, looking at benevolence. For us to be merciful, we are commanded as we are. We must operate in forgiveness, forgetting everyone's past, choosing not to remember people's past and their past transgressions against us. We must be helpful, we must bear the burdens of others, and we must be benevolent. We must be givers. Verse 9 of Proverbs 22 says, He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Uh, go to um, Proverbs 28. Verse 
Look at verse 27 there in Proverbs 28. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Hmm. Wow. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. We have many, many, many millions, if not billions of Christians who are operating financially under a curse because they really don't give. They, 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 they give by obligation. In other words, it's called the tithe. So we must give freely and willingly to those in need. Now let's go to the New Testament. Acts 20. Let's talk about being benevolent. We're talking about giving. Acts 20. <clears throat> Verse 35. Acts 20, 35. I have showed you all things how that so laboring you ought to support the weak. Mm -hmm. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Is that our focus in our prayers to the Lord? Are we asking more for others or are we asking for ourselves? Are we focused on the needs of others or are we selfishly trying to get our 40 acres at a meal? <laughs> or whatever we're supposed to get. Uh, Ephesians 2 repeats the same thing. <coughs> of Romans 12 says it all. Distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. If we're merciful like our Lord, we give. John 3.16, technically I guess the most famous verse in the whole Bible. Uh, for God so loved the world, he gave. Uh, we can say, for God so loved the world, he gave sacrificially. For God so loved the world, he gave of himself. Amen. For God so loved the world, he gave. Amen. For Christians so love the Lord, they Amen. give. That has become our our label. Mm. You want to label us, he's a giver. There you go. <laughs> Let that be our judgment. Man, he's a giver, man. Let that be a judgment. <laughs> Unfortunately, often that's not the judgment of Christians. It's usually an H word. <laughs> Apocrisy. Hypocrites. And so forth. Uh, go to 1 John 3. Amen. We're commanded to be merciful. We're reviewed being, uh, having forgiveness, that is, not remembering, choosing not to remember other people's past, not remembering their, their transgressions against us, letting wounds be healed by forgiving. Be merciful also means being helpful to others in need. When we see someone in need, we go help them. And this last aspect means uh, being benevolent, giving, 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 giving. First John step three, just to sixteen through seventeen. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Wow, we just said this. Because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our 